If you want to track what test passes and what fails and get insight to if your product is releasable, the test management section of RecTest will present the information for you. The test management section of RecTest will allow you to plan, execute and document tests in your project, keeping all the documentation in one place and making it easier to follow up your progress. You can create various test content depending on what you wish to test. So let's break it down. When you click tests in the main toolbar, you can select between four options depending on what you want to do. The first option is test runs. The test run tab will give you an overview of your test scenarios and this is where you can see the execution results of your test. You can also see how many tests you're running and who is assigned to your tests. A test run is a group of test content such as test cases or checklists and are used to execute tests in RecTest. Grouping different test content in a test run is perfect when doing end-to-end -end testing. To create a new test run, click the Create icon in the upper right corner. Fill in the form for the test run and click the Create button to save it to your test run list. If you wish to edit a test run or you wish to execute the test run, simply click the test run in your list. You will see the detailed information of the test run such as who is assigned to the test run and what the name of the test run is. You can also track the progress of your specific test run by clicking the test report tab. This will open up a chart where you can see how many tests are passing and how many tests are failing. If you click the content tab, you can also see in detail which test cases belong to this test run. In my example, I have three test cases and I can also see the results of each test case. If you wish to add a new test case, you just click the Add Content button. You will now have the option to add test cases, checklists, test suites, and instruction text. To add a test case, just check the box to the left of the test case in your list. You can also choose to add a checklist or a test suite or an instruction text at the same time. So in this example, I'm going to add a checklist as well. Here you can see a summary of how many items you are adding to your test run. Click the Add button and the content will be added to your test run. To execute one of your test cases, simply click the row for the test case. You will see the detailed information for the test case such as test step and expected results. And you can click the green button to pause this test case or you can click the red bug icon to set that it's failed and also create a bug report. Remember to click the Save button when you have made your choice. Under the Test Suites tab, you will find your test suites for your current project. A test suite is similar to a test run in the sense that it can be used to group content. However, it can only be used to group test cases, but not the other content types. Also, a test suite cannot be executed. They have to be imported into a test run in order for you to execute the test cases. Test suites are often created if you have a specific set of test cases access to, for instance, smoke tests. If I click on one of my existing test suites, it will open up the details and I will see which test cases are grouped into this test suite. I can also create a new test suite on the main test suite page by clicking the Create button. Here you can choose a name for your test suite and you can add the test cases that you feel is relevant to this suite. The Test Cases tab will give you access to all the test cases in your current project. A test case in RecTest is a scripted test which contains test steps and expected results. If you click on a test case in your list, you will see the details of that specific test case. Here you can see that I've filled in some information about this test case in general. Here you can see the test step and the expected result. You can also choose to edit your test case by clicking the Edit icon. The form will open up and now you can choose to edit this test case. To create a new test case in RecTest, go to the test cases page and then click the create icon. You will see a form for creating test cases. Here you can enter the title, fill in a description, select an application and also set the priority for this test case. You will also be able to add test steps for the test case. You can add several test steps by clicking the plus icon. You can also remove test steps by clicking the trash can. 
When you're finished with your test case, click the Create button and the test case will be saved to your list. On the Checklists tab, you will find your checklists. A checklist is basically a test case but without the expected result. They can be used as simple instructions and steps to the tester and gives your tester more freedom to explore and find bugs that might not be discovered using scripted tests. A combination of test cases and checklists can thus give you a more comprehensive approach towards testing. To create a new checklist, click the Create icon. You will see the form for creating checklists. Here you can choose the title of your checklist as well as the description and you can add rows which is the instructions and steps to your tester. Click the create icon to save it to your checklist list.